on June 1st of last year, a couple weeks after the article and our podcast episodes came out, Dan Adler did a very unusual, very brief 21-minute interview as a guest on a small podcast that sole focus is criticizing and disparaging people in the health and wellness industry. No, medical mini-me. Our focus is on warning people about wellness influencers who spread misinformation and conspiracy theories. Dan admitted in this interview that he was confused about everything he had written about regarding Anthony. Okay, that's not what Dan did at all. This is in regards to Dan's Vanity Fair investigation into medical medium, denim guy who's nodding along at the bottom of the screen. Real name, Anthony William. They clip from our podcast without giving any credit, which seems to be a bit of a thing theme lately. For fit for service, we have this melting pot of neoliberal pseudotherapy that pretends it is serving the world. The Aubrey Marcus anti-cult episode of our small podcast drops next week. Back to Medical Minion. I'm not going to play the full clip, but you can check out the episode here. My question to Dan was, what sorts of criticisms around medical mediums advice have you received? We were discussing his reporting techniques when he was talking to former followers of of Anthony William. Dan replied that the main critique that he received was around pseudoscience, but that was not the actual focus of the article. Dan was writing about how authority is granted and perceived in cult-like environments. The investigation is about a former close friend and follower of Medical Medium who swore off oncology to follow his diet protocol and she ended up dying. Dan got access to her phone, which included hundreds of text messages with William and people in his orbit. His confusion was about all of the wellness jargon that was shared, so he decided not to focus on that in the article. It was definitely not about everything he had written about Anthony. Apparently, Dan didn't properly research or fact check his work and just adopted provably false narratives from this group. I haven't written for Vanity Fair, but I've written for other publications that are of that size, and I guarantee they have a rigorous fact-checking process and a legal department vetting every word. I recently wrote a piece for Mother Jones that was about a fifth as long as Dan's piece, and it took two months to go through fact-checking and legal before it was published. That's the thing about this unregulated wellness world that we exist within. They don't have to be accountable for their words or actions, and so they don't even know what fact-checking means. And that's why they can, with a straight face, take quotes out of context, not give credit to the podcast, and just make shit up. But that's not how journalism works. But I guess it's how you sell fucking celery juice.